Hey guys, it's Saga from Techworks. Many of you wanted me to compare the cameras on the new Redmi Note 7 Pro with the ones on the Honor View 20. Now both these phones fall in a completely different price range. In fact, Honor View 20 costs almost 3 times as much as the Note 7 Pro. But you guys are interested in this comparison because both these phones pack in the exact same 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor as their primary camera. And you guys probably want to know if the camera performance of both these phones is the same. Now the Note 7 Pro has the same primary sensor and costs much less, but it also comes with a much underpowered processor compared to the Honor View 20, which Honor says plays a big role in how the images are processed. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with this video. To keep this video to the point, I won't waste a lot of time talking about the camera specs on both these phones. I will just leave all the necessary specs on this slide. You can pause the video and go through it if you want. Before moving on to the image and video samples from both these phones, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. That way, you won't miss out on any of the amazing videos coming up on this channel. I've made separate dedicated camera reviews of both these phones, so if you want to check out a lot more image and video samples from them, I suggest you definitely check those videos out. I'll leave links to them in the description section. Daylight shots from both these phones carry a lot of details. There is a bit more contrast in the images from the Note 7 Pro. Honor View 20 shows a bit cooler color tones, while the Note 7 Pro captured a bit warmer tones, which is how the actual scene was. Both capture good looking colors in most lighting conditions. Red and orange colors like these are difficult for the cameras to capture and represent accurately. But as you can see, both of them are doing a good job with it. Again, there is a bit more contrast in the images from the Note 7 Pro, and I prefer its images over the View 20. These have been normal 12 megapixel images. But as we know, both can shoot in 48 megapixel mode, and here are a few examples of that. Keep in mind that the file sizes while shooting in 48 megapixels are huge on both the phones. These 48 megapixel images are slightly more detailed compared to the 12 megapixel ones, but the difference is barely visible unless you zoom in a lot. Out of the two, Note 7 Pro's 48 megapixel images are a bit more cleaner and slightly sharper. I thought it would be the other way around. But again, the difference is visible only when you zoom in on these images. Honor View 20 does offer a separate 48 megapixel AI ultra clarity mode if you need sharper looking images. But you have to hold the phone steady for a few seconds, and it doesn't work very well if you have moving subjects in your scene. Even if these phones can take 48 megapixel images, I will ask you to stick with the default 12 megapixel mode. In this mode, these phones combine the information from 4 pixels into 1 pixel to form a 12 megapixel image which actually increases the surface area of each individual pixel, letting it capture much more light, resulting in cleaner images. And this process is called pixel winning. To check the dynamic range that both these phones offer, let us get back to the normal 12 megapixel mode. Most of the special modes like HDR, night mode and so on only work in 12 megapixel mode. Here are a few HDR shots. We can see more details in the shadows and better colors in the background from the Honor View 20 in some of these shots. Looks like the image processing on the Honor View 20 is helping it a bit in these situations. The difference is not much, and I think the Note 7 Pro is performing exceptionally well for its price. In these images, you also see that it shows more details than the Honor View 20, and again, you can see the difference in the way both of them capture colors. Which of these images you like will depend on your color preference. Here are a few close-up shots. Both phones have same sensor size and aperture, so the close-up shots are pretty similar. In some of the shots, Note 7 Pro does a better job of setting the focus on a nearby subject, while in others, Honor View 20 does better. And the background is blurred out very nicely from both. Coming to the portrait shots. Edge detection on the Note 7 Pro is better than the Honor View 20. There is again a bit more contrast in the images from the Note 7 Pro, which some of you may or may not like. It is amazing to see the Note 7 Pro perform so well against a much higher priced smartphone. Blur to the background looks a bit more natural in View 20's images, but most people may not even notice a difference unless they compare these images side by side. Honor View 20 needs to detect a face in order to take a portrait shot. So in this case, it did not blur the background at all. But the Note 7 Pro did a very nice job of detecting the edges and blurring the rest of the background. You can take portrait images of objects on the Note 7 Pro in the portrait mode itself. But on the Honor View 20, you have to switch to the aperture mode for this. I think a phone which relies heavily on AI vision for its cameras should be smart enough to be able to take portraits of human and non-human subjects in the same mode. Anyways, edge detection from both the phones is on point even while taking portrait shots of objects. Colors are a bit warmer from the Note 7 Pro, 
while the Honor View 20 in this mode is showing more accurate colors. Here's a low-light portrait shots of a few glasses. Note 7 Pro did well and detected the edges of glasses, while the Honor View 20 detected the outline of the water in the glass and blurred out the edges of the glass as well. Now let's check out images from indoor, artificial and lower lighting conditions. In the normal camera mode, View 20's images are slightly brighter. It also captures much more details compared to the Note 7 Pro, which you can see as we zoom in on this image. These are normal 12 megapixel images. Please don't use a 48 megapixel mode in these situations. It doesn't use pixel binning, so each individual pixel can capture very less light, resulting in images with a lot of noise. Both the phones offer night mode for these situations. Here are two images without the night mode, and now the same images with the night mode turned on. As you can see, there is a lot of difference in the images with the night mode turned on. Night mode images on the Note 7 Pro don't take as long as the ones on the Honor View 20 to capture. And its images also handle the exposure from light much better in these shots. Whenever you are in lower light, switch to the night mode on both these phones and the results will be much better. These are normal 12 megapixel images without the night mode turned on. You can see how soft the images from the Note 7 Pro turned out. That brings us to the front facing cameras. 25 megapixel selfie camera on the Honor View 20 definitely captures sharper selfies compared to the 13 megapixel camera on the Note 7 Pro. And the images quickly fall apart as we start to zooming in. Overall colors are almost similar from both the phones, with the Note 7 Pro showing more natural skin tones. Both these phones can also take portrait selfies. They don't get a secondary depth sensing camera at the front, so edge detection and blurring of the background is achieved via software. They do a good job of separating the subject from the background, but the edge detection is much better from the Note 7 Pro. Its images are however slightly softer compared to the ones from the Honor View 20. Here's a video from the front facing camera of the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Honor View 20. You can see how both these phones are handling the overall colors of the scene, stabilization when I'm walking around with them, and exposure. Until now, other than in lower light, there is very little difference in the images from both these phones, which is a huge compliment for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But as we move to shooting videos, Honor View 20 pulls way ahead. Both can shoot 4K 30fps and 1080p 60fps videos. On the Note 7 Pro, videos in both these resolutions are not stabilized at all. 1080p 30fps videos are stabilized on the Note 7 Pro, but most of the videos captured from the Note 7 Pro are extremely choppy and they drop a lot of frames. This is definitely a software issue because it doesn't happen while shooting videos in a third-party camera app. So until Xiaomi releases a software update to fix this issue, Note 7 Pro is pretty much useless for capturing videos. There are various video shooting modes on the Honor View 20. This is how a normal video looks from any smartphone. Everything and everyone is in focus. But on the Honor View 20, you can now take videos like these where your subject is in focus and everything else is blurred out in real time. It is like having portrait mode for video. You can also use this selective color mode to separate your subject from the background. It is amazing to see how well it handles all of this in real time. You also have the option to shoot 960fps super slow motion videos with the Honor View 20. In normal day to day life, there are not a lot of things which will look great at this frame rate. But for some situations like these, super slow motion videos look really cool. Note 7 Pro can also capture 1080 and 720p slow motion videos at 120 frames per second. But again, the results are so choppy right now that I am not even including it in this video. So when it comes to shooting videos, Honor View 20 is the clear winner. Well, at least until Xiaomi fixes the laggy videos on the Note 7 Pro. But for everything else, Note 7 Pro gives a very tough competition to the Honor View 20. Other than in lower light, most of the images from both these phones are almost similar and it is very hard to differentiate without looking at them side by side. So if you don't care a lot about having flagship specs, but a good camera is your top priority and you don't want to spend a lot of money on your new smartphone, then the Note 7 Pro is perfect for you. By spending less than 15,000 rupees, you get a smartphone whose camera performance is just as good as the phones priced almost twice as much. But if you are thinking of spending close to 40,000 rupees on a new smartphone, then I think you should still go with the Honor View 20. It can do much better while shooting videos, and overall, it also gives you a much better processor and top of the line specifications resulting better overall performance. So this has been what I feel about the cameras on these two phones. After looking at all the image and video samples, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. If you are still confused or don't like my analysis of these images, you can go back, 
mute the video and watch it in the highest resolution that you can and draw your own conclusions that way. If you are looking to purchase any of these phones, I will appreciate if you get them from the affiliate links in the description section. It helps the channel out at no extra cost to you. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos from this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.